Welcome to a great episode of Cooking with MFB. I almost fell back there. Anyways, we're stuffing it in. We're getting stuffed. Do you see what I'm doing there? So the first thing we need to get doing, we need to get some stuffing. Uh, I don't know if you guys caught on, but we're making stuffing. I'm going to keep it all segmented today. We're making stuffing right now. I don't know if you guys figured that out yet, but it's stuffing. And uh, you want to prep some things. You know, you get yourself some onion together, some celery if you're about that life. And uh, definitely want to get hydrated. Let's get hydrated. So before you get hydrated, you need to cool down your, your vessel. Definitely want to get a couple ice cubes in there. Oh, that one went through the backdrop. <laughs> we found the renegade. Get it back in there. Get some of your preferred beverage. And then you can want to get yourself some ginger ale. Don't want to jerk yourself ginger ale real slow like. You don't want to have any fizzing or overflowing of the ginger ale. And you want to be Jerry Ginger about the ginger ale and the ginger. Here on Cooking with MFB, we're about reducing, reusing, and recycling. You want to get yourself something to stir it with. Do it very gently. You don't want to mess up the flavor contrast. All right, now that our beverage has been spoken for, let's chop some things up and get it all nice and diced and prepared. Some people like big celery chunks. Some people don't like celery at all. I am in the middle. I'm going to cut this down the middle, and then we're going to chice it. Chice it, not slice it, not dice it. It's chicing. Don't forget to get rid of them tips. And bottoms, those don't taste good. They usually got dirt on them. Or that's some excellent chising. If I've seen anybody chise anything before, great job. Now I'm gonna want to negotiate this onion to its minimal size. You don't want big old chewy chunks of onion, but you want to let your onion know that it's been inside of somebody's mouth. Oh, I like what you did there. Keep it going. Throw those together and let them talk about himself. Let them intermingle. Let them sort of network a little bit. Next, we need to take the next thing that's going to take the most amount of time. That is some cranberries. We're making a cranberry type of sauce that we're going to use as a spread. Oh. Oh, I'm almost letting the cat out of the bag. Cranberries. Let's get some cranberries together. Oh, oh, don't look at that product placement. Don't sue me either. Please, don't sue me. Let's take a cup of sugar. Let's put a whole cup of sugar in there. Not a half a cup of sugar, one whole cup of sugar. Let's follow it up with some kind of liquid. Now, you can use a cup of water if you want to. But here on Cooking with MFB, we ain't doing that nimbly bimbly normal stuff. We are putting one cup of pine no it's peach punch put some peach in here some peach juice oh yes let's put the heat on medium yeah let's put that on some medium 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 heat that a good stir don't let it get agitated too much oh do you smell that? Oh my goodness! Oh, my mouth just watered so much. Speaking of agitated, oh, I forgot the oven! Okay, well, now we're good. Preheat your oven to 350. Also, you need to lubricate your pan and take a piece of parchment paper and put it on here. You'll thank me later. Alright, now that you got this up to a boil, you're gonna take it to low. Reduce the heat, low temperature. And we're going to simmer, gently boiling, for about 10-15 minutes. Look at the size difference in these things. It's ridiculous. Alright, let's start the stuffing again. Back to the stuffing. We're going to go with medium, medium high heat. Let's get some butter melted. How much butter do you ask? That's five tablespoons. You want to melt five tablespoons of butter until it is properly melted. That does look like some melted butter. If I've ever seen some butter been melted before, we need to throw some things into it. Remember those onions? Do you remember the celery? Never forget. 
put on in there. Don't be afraid. Stir that in there pretty good. Get some cohesion of the butter. Some cohesion, that's my new word. Anyways, make sure you get your vegetables all nice and crisp and tender. Tender crisp! Welcome back, guys. I'm glad you were watching, you were watching that other stuff. While you are watching, I was cooking this, and this just got finished doing its thing for about 10 to 12 minutes. We are going to wait a couple more seconds and see what it wants to do. We're going to blend that, though. But this, we need to add some chicken broth. Two cups of chicken broth. We're going to put that on in here. And we're going to bring this to a boil. And we're going to let it think about what it has done. It is about to become amazing. All right. Let's take that heat, turn it off. Um, let's do some, uh, do that blending thing. I'm going to mash this up. If you don't got a blender thing, you can use, uh, like a mixer. But if you don't got a mixer, you can take, uh, and just mash it. Just mash all this until there's, like, a paste. Oh, but this thing right here, oh, it's amazing! Listen to it. It's quiet. You want to see it? Let's see it again. That's amazing. Set you guys up with the action shot. Action shot! Look at that. Oh. Oh. That is what I'm talking about. Just look at that. What? That. That tastes amazing. That's pretty good. Take your cranberry puree and place that into a metal container of some kind of container. Put that away. Maybe you might even want to refrigerate it. I'd recommend refrigerating. I'd recommend refrigerating it. Refrigerate it. All right, you got your chicken broth. It has come to a boil. I've turned it off of heat. It might start doing this weird thing. Anyways, take that and put it into this mixing bowl that's filled with these amazing dried breadcrumbs in chunks. Oh, my mouth is watering. See what I mean? It's just doing its own thing. Just start boiling on its own. Anyways, that, going into there. Drink a little bit of your beverage. Stay hydrated. All right, do it. You won't, no balls. All right, I'll, I'll just mix those onions. You don't want the onions on top. You want to mix the onions into the amazingness. Just keep on getting it. It requires sometimes two hands, so I'll be back. All right, that's looking and smelling pretty amazing. Let's transfer that into our lined dish. Press it down. Get it into those corners, and most importantly, you want to make sure the top is about as flat as you can make it, or an even as you can make it. You don't want any nooks and crannies on this one. This one you want... Gross uniformness. Do it. Do it now. Cover this with some aluminum foil. And then place it into the oven for, I don't know, 20 minutes? What's it say over here? 20, 30 minutes. In a normal world, I'd leave that lid off. And we get all nice and crispy and crunchy on the top. But I don't want that just yet. Speaking of wanting things... I want you guys to get yourself some low heat, medium low heat, a little bit low. Yeah, we gotta get some hand. Hand in the pan. Make sure it's hot. All right, I suppose I let the cat out of the bag today. We're making sandwiches. We're making inside out, semi inside out turkey sandwiches. This is because I don't have real leftover turkeys. So, anyways, you gotta make do what you gotta do. We're not quite at Thanksgiving yet, but we're close enough. So, that pan that we were talking about, now that it's nice and warm, let's put some bacon in it, because nothing says a sandwich like a couple slices of bacon. So we just put some bacon in there, let it do its thing, and uh, yeah, bacon! All right, let's turn this fan off. It's all loud. Let's turn this other loud thing off. Let's, yeah, let's do that while we're at it. Let's see, get this out. Get it out of there! Let that hang out. Get room temperature. Even better, chilled. That would be perfect. Whoa! Let's let this hang out a little bit. Let's get it room temperature, and then after it gets room temperature, we're gonna put it in to the fridge. It's gonna take some time. Be patient with it. Give it some words of encouragement. 
You're the coolest person ever. You're so cool. When you walk into the room, I got to put a jacket on. All right. It's had time to chill out. We gave it cool words of encouragement. It's time to roll it out. What you gonna want to do is you want to cover it. Another piece of parchment paper. And get your rolling pin out. That's right. Get out the rolling pin. You don't want paper thin, but you want thin. So you want to roll it out a little bit. Get it, get it a little skinny. Skin it out. Alright, so the roller thing didn't work out too well. So I just went ahead and we started slicing it. Made some nice little good sized slices here. Let's start making the sandwich. Alright. Didn't have real turkey. Had to get that sliced turkey. But it's still turkey. But before we get all turkey, we need to get our sauce ready. Look at that sauce. Can you just look at that? Get a spoonful. Good old spoonful of it. Oh, look at that. It's chunky too. No, oh, ho, ho. Take that and just sort of do that. Yep. Sort of, yep. Yep. Sort of, yep. You know what you're doing? Man! I'm getting excited because the bacon comes next. Now I'm going to sort of break down the bacon just a little bit. Just a little bit. We don't want oversized pieces of bacon. We don't want undersized pieces of bacon either. Satisfied with that amount of bacon. Let's go and put a slice or two of this beef on here. It's not beef though. It's turkey. Where's the turkey? Yeah, I think we need a second slice. There you go, you know, do a fancy, fancy pantsy. A little bit of cheddar, just a small handful of cheddar goes on there. Just a small bit. Just a little bit. Make sure that's on there well. Don't let it get out of hand. Out of your hand. Uh, another spoonful of that cranberry sauce that we made. Man, it's looking good. Tasting good, too. Whoa! Here's where it's going to get tricky. Take this thing. Hopefully it doesn't break. Action shot. And flip it. Oh, man. You need to put some butter on that. All right. Let's get this pan warmed up. Because we're frying these things. In case you haven't caught that on yet. Get a little bit of butter on there, you know, a little bit of butter on there. Not a lot. A little bit on there. You see that sheen? That is a buttery sheen. Speaking of buttery sheen, you want to put a little bit of preemptive strike here so you don't get the buttery sheen burning. But it's about that time. You see it's starting to fizzle? We're ready. Look at that. That's just amazing looking. I hope it turns out alright. Alright, this going on there. Need two hands to do it because I'm afraid. Success! Now we just gotta wait a couple seconds, maybe a couple minutes per side. It's a thick sandwich. You don't wanna burn it. Don't forget to get your buttery sheen on the other side. Don't forget it, otherwise you'll stick to it and you'll poo the scrooge. That is the slow sizzle of perfection. At least I hope so. All right, don't mind that, it's a little, I like mine extra done. Anyways, we are getting it in there. We have flipped it. And we are on our way to cheesy melted greatness. Like there, you take time to watch video and make the episode if you decide to make it. It smells amazing. The cranberry sauce. That's where it's at. Thank you for watching and keep on.